Each month, we bring you our top five recommended indie games that can be backed on Kickstarter. These games are not for on a product, and just by backing them does not guarantee the game will be fully funded and reach a full release. Before we go into this month's recommended games, let's have a quick catch up from last month's games. First up, there's Luca. Luca was fully backed and reached its $20,000 goal. If you back the game, then you can expect early access at the beginning of next year, with a full release coming in the summer of 2018. Eon Break was the Nicholas Tesla inspired platformer, but unfortunately Eon Break didn't reach its goal of $50,000. So we'll just have to wait and see what's next for Eon Break. Another game that didn't reach its funding goal was The Dark and the Abyss. In fact, this isometric adventure game only acquired 15% of its overall $6,000 goal. The fourth game on our list last month was Pillars of History, but just like the two previous mentioned games, Pillars of History also failed to reach its funding goal and is not confirmed if it will receive a full release yet. And I wish I could wrap up last month's recap with a positive, but I'm afraid that's just not going to happen. This isn't due to Beacon The Awakening not reaching its funding goal. In fact, the game was at 60% funding when developers cancelled Beacon's Kickstarter campaign with still a week to go. So if last week recapped, let's dive into this week's top 5 recommendations. RE Legend is an open world monster raising RPG with elements of farming, fishing, crafting and village building which can be done alone or with friends. The game is set on the magical island of Voka, home to the enchanting creatures known as Magnus. It's these magical creatures that you'll need to befriend, rear and raise to help you on your quest to restoring your lost memory. Although a huge element of RE Legends gameplay is based around the raising of Magnus, it's by no means all the game has to offer. While on your adventure through Voka, you'll meet various villagers, and by aiding these villagers with farming, crafting and growth, you'll acquire new quests and material to venture further into the mysterious island. All this simulation fun can be experienced alone or with up to four friends online through RE Legends multiplayer options. The game's Kickstarter campaign only started a week ago and it's already just over 200% funded. But with stretch goals including a Nintendo Switch release, PS4 release and Xbox One release, there's still plenty of reasons to show your support for this JRPG monster raising sim. And you have until the 25th of August to back RE Legend. Neon City Rider is a 2D action brawler game that plays out in a cyberpunk city. The game is set in a not so distant future where everybody has been forced to join a gang and each gang has their own patch of turf. Think a cyberpunk version of the Warriors. The overall aim of the game is simple. Invade another gang's turf, smash them about a bit and then take down their leader. To fully equip yourself for this task, you'll need to explore the pixel art Neon City in search of items, weapons and new recruits for your ever-growing gang. Neon City Riders draws inspiration from brilliant titles such as The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening and Hyperlight Drifter, and if it proves to be even half of those games, then it's going to be absolutely awesome. The game is currently 90% backed and set for PC release, however, the PS4 release being a stretch goal, then maybe you'll see Neon City Riders on console when it's estimated to release in spring next year. If you're excited by the prospect of a cyberpunk 2D action brawler, then you have until the 8th of August to back Neon City Riders. The Lighthouse is a tense, first-person exploration game that dips its toes into the idea of alternative dimensions. Players assume the role of James Irvine, a private investigator that has been lured into a dark neo-noir world while searching for a missing young girl named Lily Beaumont. 
The environment of the lighthouse play a key role in how you progress through the story. Not only will you come across various environmental puzzles, you'll also need to use the light from the lighthouse to move through the harrowing darkness. Developer Shadow Knight Studios set a funding goal of $10,000, which has already been doubled. Luckily, the project features some pretty good stretch goals, including new playable areas and potentially full VR support. If this dark, mysterious and multi-dimensional game has your intrigue, then head over to its Kickstarter page, which is linked below, to try out the Lighthouse's alpha demo. The Lighthouse is in development for PC, PS4 and Xbox One, and if you fancy supporting it, then you have until the 14th of August to back it. Dead Matter is a true sandbox survival horror game. You will fight to survive in a zombie-packed, post-apocalyptic world designed from the bottom up to foster whichever playstyle suits you best. Home to many threats, post-apocalyptic Alberta will... Ever wondered how you would approach a zombie apocalypse? Well, Dead Matter lets you find out in what is the ultimate sandbox survival game. The options for survival are endless in Dead Matter. If you choose to stay a recluse, barricade your house and live off the land, then that's fine. Or you may choose to team up with friends, move through settlement to settlement, looting everything in your path. From the moment the development team of Quantum Integrity Software began development on Dead Matter, customization has been key. Any building you see in the game can be barricaded, upgraded and lived in. Your personal identity options are huge. Almost every weapon you come across can also be modified. Every time you step into this zombie apocalyptic version of Alberta in Canada, you'll have a new story to tell. Dead Matter started with a funding goal of 60,000 Canadian dollars, which it smashed and is now currently over 250% funded. In fact, it's only 40,000 Canadian dollars off its final stretch goal, which will bring interactive AI settlements and factions to the post-apocalyptic world. If you're excited by the thought of Dead Matter and fancy getting early beta access, then you have until the 17th of August to head over to the Kickstarter page, which is linked below, and back the game. Our final recommendation this month comes in the form of Epitasis, a vibrant exploration game full of both intrigue and puzzles. After coming across what turns out to be an ancient portal, you take a chance, a leap of faith to see just where this mysterious portal leads and soon find yourself among the remains of an ancient alien civilization. This new world is full of cryptic puzzles, forgotten technologies and enchanting relics, all amidst a stunning and colorful wilderness. By exploring the eye-catching lands of Epitasis, you'll learn the secrets behind the ancient alien race and in turn unearth the fate of their civilization. Epitasis started with a funding goal of just over $11,000 and is currently just under 50% backed. The gameplay looks to be a blend of the brilliant Mist and the recent puzzle game The Witness. Fans of either game should definitely check out the Kickstarter link for Epitasis, which is below, and you can bag yourself a copy of the game for just $15, or if you fancy getting early beta access, then that's available for $25. All games mentioned in this list are currently available for backing on Kickstarter. There is no guarantee that they will be fully funded or that they will ever reach a full release. But if you are excited by any of these games, then follow the links below to head over to their Kickstarter page and show your support to the devs. Any support you show could potentially help a game that you like become a full release product. And to keep up to date with all indie game news, previews and reviews, then subscribe to our channel and head over to indie-credible.com.